They let him have a bar. Got a spare, a spare bullet, bullet fella? fella? I ain't eaten in days. Why, what? Why do you want a bullet? You look familiar, but old, old Billy hasn't seen, seen you around. Huh. Huh. It's right there. That's kind of cool. When did they kill Bar? Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Ugh, how Mr. Carpenter's food give away with this darn port closure? It's gonna just say fuck y'all and it's going back. Shell casings. Do I actually like craft? What? It's dope. Oh. Okay. I see. Okay. That's my crafting menu. Gotcha. Come, come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises. Sounds like Arkham. <laughs> really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. I just craft one. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. Cool. Yeah, I got a trophy. So you'll be generous in the giving days. Many gifts delivered and many part. We got part taking. Okay. To see old and new, new heart against the iron will. Whoever wins, will win too, but you'll see. So I'm going to be stuck in a cage or in jail. That's nice. Alright guys, uh, let's talk to these people and then we will carry on Welcome there. To under the kill. What do you want? I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. 
And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Wow, rude. I'm looking for a man by the name <laughs> of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. Here, <laughs> here. He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. Ah, love that for us. All right. We're gonna do this one. Man's upstairs, they say. What the? Get them! Oh. Uh huh. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so... I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. They look like fish. It was like all fish. that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after her is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened or... I suspect it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. What kind of... Uh, why do you... Your face, it's uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Want to spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the sea. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. So they were blessed by the sea, and the other family got blessed with strength that they got the ape. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary gone to the sea. So I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listen to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that well. damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throgmorton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived at Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs, always setting people against us. 
I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah. A newcomer with a gun. Answer <laughs> the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. Uh, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Um, just don't tell him. I don't know, because, like, it was the madness. What do you think? What do you think? Fish. Our friends, not food. <laughs> Your friends, not food. All right, so I won't tell him. That's why I'm translating. I won't tell him. Everyone seems to agree there's been an outbreak of madness around these parts. I'm inclined to believe you fell victim to it, too. Plus, that seems heartless to tear apart a family after what you've been through already. Oh, thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you. That said, the port's still closed. What will you do? Hide here, I guess. Don't have a choice. The streets are flooded with police. I'll make something up to tell Throgmorton. Leave as soon as you can. Thank you again, sir. I won't forget this. <laughs> he will not forget this. Please, it. I told you the truth, I swear. Is that a hot dog? All right, so let's make it this casebook testimony. Okay, and my place. Um, Lewis was aware of his actions. Hit during a fight, but was mentally affected, didn't control, control his actions. Oh, you had to choose. Can you switch it? Oh, that's how you do deducing the information. Um, let's see. Okay, Lewis was under mental influence. Lewis killed Arbor Third Morgan while under some sort of mental influence. He cannot control his actions and thus cannot be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him or else Robert Third Morgan would have his head. Yeah, that's what I chose. Change of it. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna say it was mentally affected. All right, so and then I could clear off the map now since I have it all solved. So edit, edit, delete, edit, delete, edit, delete. Okay. I'm still missing clues though, the fisherman's house. Okay, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? I really do like this game already though. It's very fun. Oh. 
Okay, let's go this way. I think get everything from the fisherman's house. I don't know what I'm missing though. Oh no. I was gonna say, what happened? I'm missing something here. What am I missing? Must be something I'm missing here. Choo choo. <clears throat> no. Nothing here. Nothing here. No. I'm missing something. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. The alcohol I checked. Oh, this. He has a family. Oh, it's a family thing that he. Has. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. There we go. Now I got all evidence. Yay! I did it. All right. I'm guessing this game auto saves. But we're gonna finish this off. Mr. Throckmorton, uh, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah. That first hand. Try to Not really, I smacked impossible. it. And when you can't keep your weapons handy. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouther fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and a scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. Just ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure. But at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throg Morton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to a vault? 
Uh, finding the source of my vision? Oh, I'm investigating cases of insanity. What would you choose? Yeah, this one reason. I, I think I'm going mad, Mr. Thorne. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or uh, I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Uh, why a geological, geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source as a bar. I wonder if I told the truth. So I sent men to find but out. But he was gonna kill Lewis, probably. He would agree. Um. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is. Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Denied scientific explanation. Uh, you think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. about my expenses. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Ah, uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Oh, this reminds bullets me of Metro. More than bills. Yeah, Metro. Yeah, Metro used bullets to shoot in that currency. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Okay, guys. This is probably where I'm going to end it. That was really fun, though. It was the first case. Um, not sure I'm going to record this. But there's a lot going on and a lot, a lot of time. So, oh, so Coverside has the police department, the Chronicles, that now I just got the university and the city hall. And what's over here? Oh, Thorgmore Manor, oh, it's an old grove, that's far. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am figuring out new things to do so I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode this is going to be a super fun game I already can tell bye everybody you might hear more of the other guy soon he is quiet today but I think the more I'm going to get into this I think he's going to be very nosy I like it thank you guys have fun bye